So it is 20th of January, and today is all about something else which I didn't do very much of last year. That's practice. I'm not usually a big fan of just going to the driving range and hitting balls. I don't mind it, but I'd rather be out on the course playing. And then I came across this place. It's a golf centre, it's literally like two miles away from me. I don't know how I haven't heard of it, haven't come across it before, but it's got a little par three course. And by the looks of it, it could be quite a fun little par three course. Most of the holes are kind of 70 to 120, 130 yards, which I feel like is perfect. I'm desperate to work on my wedge play. You may have seen in the last video, my wedge play at the moment sucks. So that's what we're doing today. But first, that means nothing to you, but I bought this for myself the other day and I'm incredibly excited. I'm probably more excited for this than I am for anything which I've bought myself, but anything golfy that I've bought myself in a long time. I'll just, let me show you. Yes, it's a Pokemon ball, ball marker. You don't need to tell me how cool that is. So, been in the pro shop. They are so lovely. I mean, scorecard, tees, pencil, 10 pounds for a tee cut in here. Nine holes, admittedly. But the guy walked me out, showed me the first hole, told me, told me about the course. It's just a nice, nice little reception to have. So, so far, it's going well. Um, he did say the course is quite wet, so I'm gonna change my shoes. So they don't take tea time bookings. It's just a case of rock up, pay and play, if it's busy, you just wait your turn. It's just dawned on me that the driving range, which is kind of just over my shoulder there, um, doesn't have a very big net running down the side of it. It's got a load of trees, they're acting as like a, a net. There are a lot of driving range balls on this first, first fairway, which is slightly concerning. recently and uh, I think this is exactly the kind of place I need to practice it. Oh. That went in the trees. I don't like going to the range, hitting wedges into nothing you know, or into the baskets, whatever it might be. This, it gives me, this is like a targeted practice, an actual green so you can you know, putt, you can chip around the greens. I genuinely feel that I would get way more out of spending an hour here than I would spending an hour on the driving range with my wedges. I don't know what it is, just it's like real world application. Whereas a range just seems too like dry and fake. Mm. 
Absolutely no doubt in my mind, stood on that tee, all well, those balls were going very far left. As much as that, that fence is there, and appreciate that it probably does the job, yeah, no confidence. I could slice it over that fence easily. It's obviously not in the best condition at the moment, but I mean, it's the middle of winter in England, you know, no courses here are, so can't fault it for that. The greens are insane. They are brilliant. I mean, I, for a, a nine hole course like this, just a little pay and play pitch and putt type thing, never seen anything like it. They can get the greens into good shape, which it looks like they do. This place is gonna be incredibly fun when it's dry. So this is this is enjoyable golf. Although my wedge play is still crap. 